what's up travelers so in this video I am in Florence Italy I just sat down at a steakhouse called Giannino in San Lorenzo it's a restaurant that's been open since 1936 and they specialize in steak Hey travelers, join Tony on his journey while he discovers amazing foods and popular worldwide destinations. Especially when you want to wrap your lips around some amazing delicacies instead of something that tastes like a dirty sock like me. So hit that subscribe button and gong that notification bell so you can be alerted to future videos. I just sat down at a steakhouse called Giannino in San Lorenzo. It's a restaurant that's been open since 1936 and they specialize in steak. I just cannot wait. I ordered a filet with uh, caramelized onions and a bowl of minestrone soup. Uh, the soup should be getting here pretty soon. I am just so excited. The food here in Florence is just so delicious. Can't wait. All right, we got this minestrone soup, and this is just absolutely delicious. Let's just try the broth here. Mm. Oh yeah, that is so good. So we got some carrots, and some greens, and some celery, and some zucchini, and some potatoes. And let's just dig in. You are not going to find a better vegetable soup than this, it, period. This, this is hands down, this is it. This is what we're looking for. Mm. Oh, so good. 
the pro tip. When you have an awesome minestrone soup, grab yourself a piece of bread when you get to the end of it and just sop the leftover broth up with that because you don't want to let that go to waste because it's just too good. <laughs> Got this amazing looking steak right here. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this since the summer when I left Florence. <laughs> Alright, so we've got caramelized onions. It looks like they caramelized them in wine. We're gonna just go ahead and try that out without the steak at first. Oh, man, those onions are like candy, they are so sweet and they just give you like this explosion of caramel when you take that bite and then all of a sudden you get a flood of the onion flavor that just kind of rushes into your mouth after the initial sensation of the sweetness goes away. That is... Unlike anything I've ever experienced before, that is crazy. Oh yeah. Look at that. First cut. Oh. My word. It is so tender and just so juicy and flavorful. That is unbelievable. That is definitely right in the top five steaks I've ever had in my life. You see that? Look at that. That is just almost bloody. <laughs> this is the way steak is supposed to be cooked. perfectly seasoned. The onions, they, they give it a whole different flavor profile than you would expect. I kind of wish the onions were on the side, to be honest. But it still works together. It's a good marriage. And I support it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I lived in Florence, I would go broke because of steaks like this. If you ever seen Friday, or not Friday, but Friday after next, this is slap your mama good. <laughs> Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. Don't it, Willie? Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. What the hell you want, Willie? <laughs> Steak so good it make you slap your mama. <laughs> this is definitely a great meal. A piece of artwork. After a day of checking out statues made by Michelangelo and Donatello and paintings by Sandro Botticelli. I eat th this this steak. It just it, it's a it's an artwork that goes with that. Just unbelievable. Cool thing about this is this steak. It was only 22 euros. Last time I had a steak here in Florence, between the steak and the beans that I had with it and the drink that I had, it came to 100 euros. 
this was 22 euros for the steak and then another 9 euros for the minestrone soup. 3 euros for the bottle of water that I got with it. It's not going to be so bad. Tell you what, you come to Florence, you got to get yourself a $100 steak. You got to get yourself a $20 filet. <laughs> it's just what you got to do. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are, will be let known every time I upload a new video. I really, I really, really, really appreciate it. This is traveling. It's not cheap for sure. It, I'm just glad I can take you along with me. And I think YouTube has, has been amazing for allowing us to do that. But as always, eat great food.